Hey guys, this is Ben with Company Grip. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try out guitar picks made out of bone, stone, wood, metal, and some secret composite. The majority of guitarists use guitar picks. Everybody finds something they like and they stick with it and sometimes they change. But for the most part, what I've found is people don't revolve their guitar picks from one song to another. I'm not any different. When I bought my cheap Jackson guitar for 150 bucks at Guitar Center 20 years ago, I'm sure somebody threw in a pack of these Dunlop Tortec 60s and I used them almost exclusively until about 2021 when I ordered a guitar off the Gibson demo shop. This guitar actually. Gibson, you're selling your seven strings way too low. I think this is the third one that I've missed. Somebody got a steal of a deal on this. Yes, that's right. That was me that purchased that guitar. Sorry, Trogly, I snatched it from you. Anyway, pulled out the case candy and inside was a 72 pack of Gibson medium wedge guitar picks. It's a significant size increase for a guitar pick. Uh, kept the picks, got rid of the guitar. Sorry, Trogly, never stayed in tune. Now what I've got lined up here is a wooden guitar pick from this company called Thalia. Has a little bit of flex to it. The next guitar pick was this aluminum guitar pick for five or six bucks, something like that. As expected, it has zero flex in it. It's supposed to make things brighter. The next guitar pick is bone. The edges are beveled and it comes almost to a pretty sharp point. Some sources say that they warm the sound up. Some sources say that they brighten the sound up. Those seem contradictory to me. This next pick seems more like a novelty. This is uh, a polished sandstone. It is very thick. It is very, 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 very round. The last guitar pick might be something that some would say is stupid, controversial. Some say it's the best. I've had many talks with other guitarists about it who both swear by it and say, uh, it's a Total gimmick. This is the blue chip guitar pick. This cost me 45 bucks. I will admit that five of those dollars go towards getting your name engraved. We'll see how this one goes. It's made out of a top secret compound. Right. I'm gonna do two different styles. One of them will be sort of an acoustic sound and the other one will be just a solo to one of my tracks, which will be a little heavier and more uh, distorted. In full disclosure, all of my acoustic guitars have dead batteries in them, and to access the battery, you need to rip off the strings. It's, it's a pain in the butt, and I didn't want to do it. So I'm going to use this Godin guitar. As you can see there, it's got the acoustic input. <laughs> For electric guitar, I'm going to be using the same guitar, but I'm going to take this jack and I'm going to stick it into the regular electric outlet there like so. No stairway. Denied. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my trusty old Gibson and then I will just cycle through the picks one long mega track. I will put which picture of which pick is being played in the corner so you have an idea and we'll go from there.
There you go, guys. That's six different guitar picks. I'm curious what you heard. If anything, let me know in the comments. For me, the two guitar picks that stood out the most were the Bone, and as much as I would hate to say it, the Blue Chip guitar pick. I would never advocate for somebody to spend $40 on a guitar pick, but based on the hearing evidence alone, for me, those were the two that offered the most. And playability as well, the blue chip was pretty nice. Now, the Bone guitar pick, I thought it was certainly louder, and it did feel really good and brighten the sound up quite a bit, and that's something I did like. The other guitar picks, they had their own nuances, but it wasn't enough to justify switching. But in the end of the day, I think I'm going to stick with my Gibson medium wedges. They're cheap and they play good. So I'll put links for all these in the description. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you think. I'd like to know what kind of guitar picks you like to use as well. All right, guys, thanks for checking this out. Next time. This guitar pick is half the width of the distance between these guitar strings. That's nuts.